Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to download the Google Play app for your Samsung Smart TV. This also is probably capable for the Roku Smart TVs as well. Now, one thing before we do begin, this is only gonna be for the Google Play TV and movies. Unfortunately, due to the software in the Samsung TV, it is probably possible, but a little bit over the top. And unfortunately, because it's not running Android, you cannot access an actual phone mobile apps that your phone or your Android tablet would access. These are similar, but unfortunately, because it's not running on Droid, I won't be able to get most of the apps like Zillow or most of those other ones on my Samsung Smart TV. I was trying to figure that out. So just kind of a heads up if you've come over here for that. Now, what we're going to do here is we will start out. Now, if your Samsung TV already does have the Google Play for TV and movies, Awesome, you're a step ahead. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and if you don't have it, mine does, but if you don't have it, what we're gonna do is come over here to features. You might have to scroll in a deeper menu, but you wanna find the apps. Wherever it says featured, mine is right there, as we can see right there. Go ahead and hit apps right there. It will take you to the page right here. Now this is where you just go up into the search box top right and go ahead and hit enter. And then we're gonna go ahead and, and just type out Google and it probably should autofill after like two. And then you can go ahead and just search it. So let's see here, boom and boom. If it doesn't auto search it, see mine's right up on the top. So let's just go ahead and go up. You might have to type in a few more letters and then you wanna find where it says this right there, Google Play Movies and TV. Go ahead and hit enter. And if you don't have it already, mine already does, but you go ahead and just download it. The instructions will be right there. Hit enter, it'll download, and then go to it and fire it up. And now we will begin. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. Once you are in the app, as we can see here, I'm actually gonna have to black out a portion of the small right corner of the video just because it's it is my personal code that I'm gonna be sharing with my mobile device, but we're gonna walk you through this. So go ahead and navigate down to my account right here and you see sign in. So what you wanna do is you wanna obviously just go ahead and hit enter right there. And this is the portion of the video I'm gonna be blacking out the bottom right starting now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and it's just easier for me to edit this video. Now, as we can see here underneath this little dark square right here, or right here is my personal code, which again, I'm gonna have blacked out, but here are your instructions right here. On your mobile device, laptop, Android, tablet, whatever it is, I have a Samsung S8 Plus. You can even do this in a laptop, regular laptop, etc. You're gonna to go to google.com backslash device from any browser, and you're gonna enter this code underneath this box for myself, obviously that box will be different than you. It is a nine digit code. So first thing you're gonna do is obviously go that on your browser. You're gonna tap the three equal signs, tap settings, tap finish. We're gonna walk through this. Okay, over my browser on my Samsung S8 Plus, again, any browser, very simple. You just follow the instructions, type in your code, follow the Google prompts, and then it leads me to this screen right here. Now I am officially signed in with my account. And sorry, I just couldn't show you all that. That's a lot of personal information. And once you are signed in, on your browser, it will say if you need to update your credit card information, if it's expired, etc. And then to rent a movie, so let's just go ahead and go over here. I'm not gonna rent it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Let's go ahead and go over here to Toy Story 4. I would hit enter right there. And then obviously I can play the trailer, I can buy, I can rent, I can add it to the watch list, etc. And it will go ahead and fire up and start. If you do have any issues with your credit card, you would just fix that over the browser that you previously were on. And of course it has all the different categories right here. Popular, recommended, new to rent, war dramas, etc. So I'll let you guys get into that. If you don't feel like going out to Redbox, obviously this is about double the price, but for the convenience factor, a lot of these are well worth double the price. So you don't have to make a trek all the way to the store, especially if you live out in the country or something like that and your round trip is about 30 or 40 minutes, then definitely, definitely pay double the price and save on some gas. Now, if you do wanna add the Google Play Store mobile apps so that you actually can use your Samsung Smart TV 
What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get an Android box. There are a lot of different compatible boxes that are powered by the Android system. I've reviewed plenty of those on this channel as well. So you can go ahead and take a look at the channel. I'll try to link one of those at the end of this video or in the description box. A couple that are fast that I recommend that are running Android 9.0. And what you do then is you just switch over to the HDMI port on it. So you're going off of the Android box and then you download it's running on Droid, so it's pretty much a box that is a phone, but without cell service. And then you just use that port for whatever you want to do. And this is also good for people that actually don't even own a smart TV. They can turn any TV like this one over to the right or that one over to the left into a smart TV with an Android box. Well, hopefully the video has helped you guys. Stay tuned for a lot more tips and tricks regarding this and regarding other things. Check out the channel, subscribe to it, and hit that thumbs up button. And if it has helped you, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.